hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl debbie aka debilini you know you know the vibe <laughs> so guys this is the so guys this is this yeah weeks after um and i'm just gonna be giving you guys like i said as you've seen i'm going to be telling you guys how you can renew your us visa in the pandemic in this pandemic or in this covid 19 period that's what i'm going to be sharing with you guys today before i go ahead to do that please remember to like share and subscribe hit the bell the red bell down there and turn on the post notification bell as well and let's get right into this video uh, i'm gonna be looking down on my note because you know <laughs> i have to make sure if i get in all the good you know so yes like i said we went to calgary for a visa renewal and also just to have like a time away with my sister and i'm gonna be showing telling you guys how we were able to get an emergency date um so if you don't know now you would know that if you want to renew your visa in canada you there is no available date in 2022 there literally is no date except you are renewing that visa on an emergency reason so i'm going to be showing you guys the i'm going to be telling you guys the steps to take to renew your visa for emergency reasons these are simple steps very very simple so step one also just a disclaimer this is my um own knowledge from what we experienced while we we're about to renew my sister's visa so uh i'm basically sharing that with you guys the first step is that you need to know what your emergency reasons are. One reason that they would not give you an emergency date is for a wedding. If you're just going to the US for a wedding, you are likely not to get an emergency date for your US visa renewal. However, if you are going for a renewal for, let's say, the death of a family member or severe sickness, or you are a student that needs to return back to school and your visa has expired and you need a new uh, uh, an emergency day just because by the time the day they've given to you school would have resumed and all of that then you guys these three reasons are classified as an emergency reason to renew your US visa so um, also another reason i would love to add is if you are an, an employee so if you have a job in the us and you want to renew your visa obviously because you have to go back to work that's also a good reason because that's one of that's the reason that i know that we used for my sister so that's a very good reason as well if you have a job and you have to go back to work before the time that they had given you for your visa renewal then they would give you an emergency date so all right first step to getting an emergency date or the ways that you can do it is when you are done with the application online and they've given you an a date so they would probably give you like dates in like 2022 or 2023 so if you are in us um you obviously and you're a student or whatever you cannot renew your visa in us so the first thing you want to go to is to go to the portal of the embassy that you are renewing your visa so for people in canada if you are renewing your visa in calgary or toronto you want to go to the website of calgary embassy when you get to the website you want to log in with your login details or create one if you don't have one but basically log in and when you log in you would see a, um, emergency tab so when you log in you would see emergency would be on the left somewhere on the left or on the right all you have to do is click on emergency when you click on emergency the next step would be for you to select the new date that you want um, when you click on emergency and you select the new date that you want it would automatically generate um, the reason so it would ask you why do you want an emergency date in this situation in that reason please and please make sure that you are very detailed with why you want an emergency date because that is what you're going to go off of so if you are if you want an emergency date for a wedding like i said the chances of you getting it is slim but maybe with your explanation you might be part of those five percent or one percent that gets it so make sure that your reason is well very very well detailed 
majority of the time they would ask for extra documentation to just prove that your reason is legit <laughs> so uh, maybe if you are going to school they might ask for like your regist course registration and things like that so make sure that you have all these documents ready just in case they ask for it so very 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 important um so once that step is done once you've put in why you want to change to an emergency date then you submit it and then you just wait you wait you wait and you pray <laughs> so when you, while you're waiting make sure you're praying as well um and then they would either approve or they would disapprove and that's it so there's always that like there's always 90 percent of every emergency date that they've done or in this pandemic when this covid 19 has been approved the remaining 10 percent uh, <laughs> are not approved so um that's a high percentage of people they've approved to get an emergency date so when you're doing this application just make sure that you are very well detailed and you've explained everything and hopefully you get it but yes guys this is the steps that you can take to have an emergency us visa renewal date and this is the step you take when you want to renew your us visa in a pandemic or this is the step you take when you want to renew your visa in COVID-19. So, yes, guys. I um, hope this is useful to you and I hope you like it. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love, peace, and light.